Hospitals across central Indiana are working to bring awareness to workplace violence. It's something the Indiana Hospital Association says happens too often, but is underreported because so many employees believe it is part of the job. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson shares the campaigns hospitals now have in place. It's kind of not a well-known fact that out of the, all the workplace violence that occurs, that 75% of this is at healthcare in hospital settings. So we're trying to prevent that. Chief Nursing Officer for Riverview Health, Tammy Nash, says healthcare workers are four times more likely to experience workplace violence related injuries than any other profession. So it's a fine line with hospitals because some of it can be medically or because of how somebody comes in, perhaps under the effects of drug and alcohol. And so it's more of the aggressive behavior, um, sometimes the language. Um, at times you can have folks that are thrashing or hitting or spitting uh, type things. The Indiana Hospital Association says around 25,000 incidents against health care employees are reported a year. But IHA says the violence is underreported because many employees believe it's part of the job. That's why hospitals across the state are participating in IHA's Safe and Sound campaign. At Riverview Health, it has a new campaign called Be Kind. That includes new signage throughout hospitals, de-escalation training, increased security, and more. As hospitals um, come together and all are in this safe and sound campaign, or whether they do something for their own culture with the Be Kind campaign, that just helps to kind of set the public message out there. And then the more we can do legislation wise to help support our health care workers. Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Now to bring awareness of this issue, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb signed a proclamation declaring Friday as Hospitals Against Violence Day.